What's going on, guys? I am Sweaters. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything. Turn on those notifications. Yeah. Leave a like on the video before you leave. And so what just happened was, I, after I had gone back to camp um, from the last video... What was that? Skin. Easy, whoa. What was this? Oh, it's a possum. Oh, they were just playing. They're not dead, I can't skin them. They're alive. So I got back to camp, returned the... Um, the funds that the people that owed uh, the German guy, whatever his name, Herr, whatever. Um, we returned that, and then we went to our tent, and there was a letter from Mary. Now, if you remember, in one of the last episodes, grew on trees. Uh, one of the women in our camp had said something about a Mary being near town, or they saw somebody that looked like Mary, or something along those kinds of lines. So, the letter was about, you know, she had said that, um, we have a bounty on our heads here? Is that right? Um, that we had agreed not to see each other because she was getting married, and, um, but anyway, now she's just north of Valentine, and she wants to see, uh, Morgan here, Arthur Morgan. So we're going to do that. Why do I have a bounty on my head here? I don't, I don't, I don't remember... I mean, we had a fight, but nothing really bad happened. Anyhow, let's go see her, see what uh, is going on with all that. Obviously, they were involved at some point, but... Don't know much beyond that. Park right at the front door. Amble, and I do mean amble. We love Once and True Part 2? What does that mean? Yes? Oh, I'm sorry I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton? The caller for you. That's how you answer the door? Hello, hey, baby. Arthur. I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. Where's, um... Where's what's-his-name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh... Well, you've been... <clears throat> you've been made a widow and come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Oh, okay. Listen, Arthur, I... I'm... My family. I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? And you want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. I always liked Jamie. At least compared to the rest of them. He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart. Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. 
Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... but I think of you often. A long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please, Arthur. Will you help me? Sure, we're gonna Where do is it. it. Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest. I just want him back. Arthur, if you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. Mm-hmm. You already owe me. Okay. Let's have a look at our map. Remove that. <clears throat> oh, way up here. Pull that back up. Mary needs your help bringing her brother Jamie home from a cult called the Chelonians. What is it with cults in video games lately? I swear, every game I've played, uh, this one, Tomb Raider, We Happy Few, um, of course, if you go back to GTA 5, there was, uh, what were they called? I mean, they were ripping on Scientology, of course, but I don't remember the name of them in their blue suits. Did you guys have to do that mission? Or, you didn't have to, but we had to run for, God, however many miles it was. It took like half hour, 45 minutes to do it out in the middle of the desert. And I know that because I actually did do that mission. I don't even remember what you got from it. Anyhow, cults seem to be in popular theme in video games lately. I'm trying to think, what else did I play? Was there something... In that one, too. We'll go to cinematic mode so I don't burn my fingers out. I'm trying to get to this place. Was there... Now I'm thinking, like, in, to Spider-Man. Was there something in Spider-Man? Was there a cult in Spider-Man? The raccoon's trying to get me, man. Watch out. If, it kind of feels like there was. Inspired a man, but not a maybe a cult per se. I don't remember. By the way, if you didn't uh, get the DLC and you wanted to watch it, it's up on my channel for the Spider Man there. Yeah, that was actually really fun. Um, it was challenging though, especially after you've taken a little bit of time off of playing the game. Those big dudes with their miniguns. But the story between uh, Peter and Felicia was good. Are these dudes right behind me? I'm gonna speed up. Yeah. Oh, hey, you there? Think you could help a lady out? Nope. Don't have time right now. I just sucked poison out of some dude's leg, and I'm still a little rattled from that. So tell me, guys, if you're playing the game, your horse is dirty. This will cause her care of condition. I can brush her, ride it through water. Okay, we'll do that. Let me know if you're playing this game or you're just watching because you're not sure. No, what are you doing, man? What the hell? Pull out your gun, man. What the hell? Okay, I just don't get that at all. I got knocked off the horse. I didn't get a chance to do anything and I'm just dead.
Okay. You know, the funny thing is, is I actually started this episode... Um... Call the horse, man. Before this, when I actually had the letter from Mary, <clears throat> and then I was riding to ba uh, Valentine. I, I keep wanting to call it Boy. Valentine for some reason. Where is my hat again? Gone. And anyway, I got jumped. by, I guess, the O'Driscolls. I don't know. But there was like seven of them and they just started shooting me. Help a blind man. What's up with my gun there? Do I have to get down? A dollar for your future. A dollar for your fate. Okay, here you are. I tell thee, bethink yourself before taking possession of another man's horse. For not all will go willingly. Okay, I will try to bear that in mind. That's it. That was well worth it. I'm sure you've got better things to do than follow a lame so we keep her his core health up so yeah there's uh come on i can tell you what you want to hear there's some things in this game it's just randomly like those guys that i i, I tried um i tried shooting them but there's, like I said, there was like, I think about seven of them. And they're just all putting shots into me. They don't miss. They're behind me, so I've got to kind of turn. Oh, boy. Is that a bear? Easy there. Oh, is that the bear? Is that why there's a red mark? What was that oh, behind me? Oh, easy. More wolves? Oh, come on. Oh, shit. <laughs> I just knocked my horse out. Get up. Let's go. I just knocked my horse out, man. Okay, I don't want to fight any more wolves. Let's just let's just go to the mission. <laughs> this this isn't working out well. I don't know how many shots that bear would have took, but I got wolves around. We just saw what they did to me. I have no chance. Oh, sir, just in time. No. I'm lost out here and I ain't got no food and no water. Well, that sucks for you, man. Let's just go get Jamie. Out of the way. Oh boy. A lot of things in this world are just waiting to kill you, I guess. And then if they don't, I'll do it myself. Running into a tree. <laughs> Poor horse, man. <laughs> Just got knocked stupid. Rediscovery of 
theology. <laughs> Gentlemen. Shell of safety. 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 Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. A path to truth. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? I don't know about this nonsense. Let me speak to the boy. Dut, dut. Are you always this shell of safety? Look at the turtles. <clears throat> this guy's bugging me. Only when dealing with idiots. Now let me talk to the boy. Goddamn lunatic. Get off him! That's enough, Arthur! Kid, come on. This is crap. You're better than this. Better than what? Better than one in paradise? Better than thinking these fools know a damn thing about paradise. Now let me take you home. You're a sad man, Arthur. You're a real sad man. Sure. Well, come home. Not a chance! Oh man, now I gotta chase him. Wait, Leave he's right there. Alone, Just grab him. Oh boy. Damn it, we gotta do this the hard way. Come on, horse. Come on, let's go. My horse is taking a sweet time. Is it because I knocked him out? This kid's riding fast, man. I hope these guys don't want to kill me. You just gotta keep tapping X forever? Can't I just maintain this speed? Where is this kid going? Hopefully we're riding back in the direction of Valentine. Sorry, mister. I was doing just fine by myself. What are you gonna do, Jay? Jump. Live the rest of your life in the mountains with those people? They're my friends. If you don't leave me alone, I'll shoot you. I swear it. What are you talking about? You ain't no killer. You don't know who I am. Yeah. You're just shooting up in the air. This kid rides fast, man. Where is he? Oh, not in front of the train. Please, Arthur. I'm a man now. I, I, I found something. I call it. Just a kid! You're making a big mistake! I'm not taking advice from you! You're an outlaw! You leave me alone! They're good people! I'm warning you, Arthur Morgan! <laughs> leave me alone! Please, kid. Put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur! I'm... I'm gonna... I don't want to live anymore! Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone! Slowly press R2 to fill the meter. What? 
I didn't get a chance to read that. The only thing I could assume was to shoot his hand, though. Let's go see your sister. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, kid. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know. There ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I miss you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. So this has to be... This wasn't how I thought today would turn out. Like a little nod a toward um, time, GTA V's cult. You were a kid last time I saw you. you. Didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. I really wish I could remember the name of that. Go, man. Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. I bet they do. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtles. Shut up. All father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me. But your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father? Nice man? He won't be happy I saw you. And please send him my worst regards. The thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, well... Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines <laughs> of carpentry or horses or something, but all right, go work in an orchard then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Father told me what you do. I'm sure he did. Hey, are you still with Dutch and what was his name? H Hester? Jose. Yep, still the same, sort of. And Annabelle and Bessie? I'm afraid they're dead. Shit. Maybe Mary did make the right choice. No doubt. But none of it is anything like the nonsense you read in the newspapers. So, are you two getting back together? I told you, no. Just ask me for a favor. You know Barry Linton's dead? Pneumonia. She told me. So the door's open, so to speak. That's all in the past. Different people now. She's not. And you seem just the same. Well, maybe that right there's a problem. She was always too good for me. Now, let's just get you back to your sister. She's waiting at the station for us. Any chance you could just cut out all the riding and just get me there? Game? I have no idea how far away it is. And I don't know where this kid, you know, when he ran off, like how far away he went instead of heading towards something. But I thought I saw that town before that we just passed that you could see over the, uh, the ridge. I don't think it was too far from, uh... Valentine. These towns have interesting names. Valentine, Strawberry. I think I'm going to have to feed my horse. He's going to be tired. Man, I'm, t I'm, I'm racking my brain right now trying to think of the name of that cult in GTA 5 and their little symbol. Because they were in... They had those blue suits in his little turtle bag there being blue. It's got to be like a little nod toward them, some kind of uh, Easter egg. Uh, she must be waiting inside. With a name or a symbol or something. I just don't remember. It's been... I haven't played it since 
I don't even I don't know how many years ago. We going in then? Morning. Morning. Don't give me a funny look, man. Howdy. Where's the door? This is literally as fast as I can walk. Make it he looks quicker, like he's got a bad back, bad hips, bad knees. Jamie! Jamie! Come home! Please! You've... Father's been very sad. Father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. That's it? I've... You're... Oh, you'll never change. I know that. Hmm. She couldn't have spent one more night in town? I feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but... Somehow, I imagine I shall. Hello. Howdy. Okay. So I guess there was three parts to that. <clears throat> One was the letter. Peacefully convince the Chelonians. No. Return Jamie to Mary within two minutes. No, I'm not replaying it either. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching the video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Turn on those notifications, and I will see you again in the next video.